Hi, welcome to Flooring Models Daily Vlog. Here we are on Wednesday the 24th of June 2015. Uh, as you can see, we are pretty well pushing on quite nicely. I know it might not look like it, uh, but actually we're not that far off putting this together. Um, generally working our way through uh, this afternoon, hopefully you'll be able to see here, I rigged up the lighting system to how the lighting system was gonna work with the engine burners, the navigation lights, and the strobe lights on this one. Uh, we basically just jerry-rigged it together just to make sure it was all going to work and everything was good. Then obviously I'm going to come back and redo it, properly solder all the connections, we'll get them all heat shielded as well uh, and obviously fixed totally to the actual unit, uh, that way it's not going to move around inside and come loose. It does all fit, we've done a quite a clever job if I do say so myself, but we've managed to sort of cut open uh, everywhere on the spine of this and by using the speed brake door uh, we can get down to all the electrics so we can get in and out a 9 volt battery which was always going to be my headache with this one so for this particular one it isn't going to be sort of hardwired to the ground or to a base you can actually pick this one up and it's still going to work and be absolutely fine and if you do need to change the battery it's not a problem you can whip the battery out as well and change it so it might not look it, but actually everything's done. We've got the engines are done and put together. Uh, we've rescribed and taken care of everywhere on all the weapons, the pylons, uh, the actual uh, flapperons, things like that. Just got to do the fuel tanks, they're taking a little bit longer. Got to get the nose on board. But because we are all gear up and that's all done as well, we're actually in a position where we can get the wiring in. Uh, and then once that's in, it'd just be a case of this lower half meeting the top half and it will basically be done. So we can even put the pylons and everything on now if we wanted to. We won't because of painting, but we can get those all installed and onto the model and pushing through. So that's going ahead really, really well. Got to get on with a load of editing with this one, to be honest. Um, I haven't done any editing of this particular one yet, so I'm gonna do that after we finished uh, editing today's show. Uh, and then what I'm gonna do is that will go up to you on Thursday, and then we're gonna have another part on Friday. So you're gonna get two up this week. And then obviously I am away next week. We're not here, we're away with Snap, but I'm gonna leave you with all the parts of these which will get you up to this point because obviously we leave early hours well not early hours but eight o'clock in the morning here on friday morning to go up and start helping with the uh, snap and getting them all sorted out getting up to the airport so really friday's out for us and then we get back the following friday uh, so it will get you up to this stage there's still lots of parts to come up on the typhoon so the typhoon is going to be up today sorry got something in my eye <laughs> fill of dust probably not full of dust, but just general dust off of this, sanding dust. Uh, so the next part of the Typhoon is gonna be up with you today, so you can watch that one. And then Thursday and Friday, you're gonna both get the first two parts, if you like, off of this one. And then next week, you're gonna get all the rest of them, which will get you up to where I am exactly on the actual Typhoon. And then obviously on this Typhoon as well. So plenty of you up there. Thanks a lot for all you who joined me last night. We did a live uh, stream, hangout, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, and we talked about photo bucket, how to put your photos up and everything else. Sorry about that. I don't know what happened with my side because there's me yabbiting onto myself and all the rest of it. And I didn't notice you guys who were posting up in the forum your questions. And I was saying, there's any questions? And what it was, I had a slight bit of lag my end because obviously we were streaming, you know, high quality 720. It um, just wasn't refreshing my page properly. As soon as I finished, press refresh and all your questions are there. But that's why I stayed on the actual forum afterwards and answered as many questions as I could. But hopefully you found that quite interesting. It was very straightforward and hopefully you agree. No problems, I showed you setting up your actual, your smartphone, uh, your photo bucket account, putting them on the forum, the different ways of doing it, adding your text to it, uh, and, and then editing your pictures and adding text to your pictures if you wanted to, or watermarking, things like that. So we covered all of that in roughly around about 40 minutes, wasn't it? And then I hung around for about 20 minutes afterwards to answer your questions questions on the forum uh, and things. So hopefully you'll find that quite you know, interesting. If you haven't seen it, pop along. It's still in the live chat area in the forum there because it's all together. We're gonna leave it all in one so you can see where I'm posting up examples you can see about them. The only thing did happen, which didn't happen at the time, it is that thing. If you maneuver your photos from one folder to another in Photo Bucket and you've already got them on a forum somewhere, you will lose them. It will come up with a picture of a cat as they do nowadays saying that it um, is no longer available. Uh, and that's because you've moved the actual, the address of where that file folder and file is. Uh, so obviously the forum doesn't know, it just pings for the image and there's nothing there. So make sure you get them in the right folders beforehand. And as I spoke to a few of you after uh, last night's uh, live show, um, basically get a folder, put a folder system in, quite a robust one. So you could put in there like, you know, aircraft and then have them all in there in separate ones below. So you can put a folder in a folder in a folder, but if you just chuck them all in one, finding them can be a complete nightmare. You don't have trouble with moving images, but just finding them all 
possible. So I do find, as you probably saw uh, my stream, I've got thousands and thousands, tens of thousands of photos in there uh, just on modeling. Um, so it's a, you know, quite an easy way of finding them all when you've got them all in their sub little thing. So if you haven't seen it, go and have a look at that and you can catch up with that one. Uh, tomorrow I've got a couple of reviews for you as well. Uh, so I'm gonna chuck them up uh, when we're gone as well. So they're gonna go up on Friday for the weekend. So you can watch them at your leisure next week and everything else like that. But generally, I know it doesn't look it, but we're almost there, as strangely as that sounds. But uh, little things, nice touches, the engines, they went together very, very nicely. Uh, we we're looking at acrylic rod and talking about it down in uh, this part of this one. But generally it all went okay. So hopefully tomorrow I can push on with this one, get the electrics in place and everything else like that. And then we can do some test fitting, making sure we're all good. There's a couple of little issues on the top of the few there we need to sand fill rescribing work just to tidy things up I want to put in the APU exhaust as well so I've got to do that one yet but generally we're looking very good so there we go that's it for today and I'll catch you all tomorrow <laughs>